Last time on Danganronpa. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Please, someone hit me! I can't forgive myself! Somebody hit me! Punish me! And we totally need to find whoever is was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him! You say we should stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? Well, they'd be discovered that much easier! Fuck you! Ding! It looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. It must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. So you couldn't mess with the door! Ding. Well, I guess you don't have- I hope you don't have to poo! Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. This is my assigned dorm room! Holy sh- He's intelligent! Someone was like me here after I fell unconscious. I know how I look. I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. And guys. Okay, let's go in now. It's been long enough. It's been a day. They're probably waiting for me and wondering if I got lost or something. This must be the dormitory dining hall. It looks pretty clean, so that's good. Uh, I guess that's not really important right now with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true, but then again, it's not such a bad thing. Nobody was there waiting for us. You don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. Hmm, okay, let's just wait here. Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition, or are you thinking what I'm thinking right now? Kinda of sudden, I know, but here comes the tutorial, because there's nothing else to do. Right now, I'd like to talk about reactions. Here you're talking to Sayaka, right? And making jokes? Well, while you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. When purple words show up, if you press the right mouse button, you'll go into reaction mode. At this point, you can use the WASD buttons to make a selection and the left mouse button to confirm it. And when it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Talk to someone about things like this is called a reaction! Okay, do your best to enjoy the ever important school life. And to test it out. Okay, I hit the... Okay, no mouse cursor works. That doesn't work. Oh, are you... Oh, you're gonna use it already. Well, that's just wonderful. Make sure you keep it in mind. The story keeps on moving forward. Okay, that's an odd method of using the reactions. Honestly, I'm not going to want. I'm not going to go wandering around. I'm just gonna wait here patiently, thinking about Sayaka. Um. So, what time is it right now? What? Seven o'clock at night? You were unconscious for a pretty long time. Also, the screen just changed. I see. Yeah, it's now a nice shade of blue. Not being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. But the HUD will always tell us what time. If I had stayed in this place too long, I might just go crazy. At least I got her to go crazy with. This is one of the Mars Monokuma appears on. Right now, just showing the school crest. You know, it's not bad if we're stuck alone. Maybe you want to think about when he might show up on that thing next. Ugh. Maybe when Saka and I are together, sitting down, same room, hugging each other. A surveillance camera! I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now, especially when Saka and I start to cuddle. I don't like to mess with them, so I'm just gonna leave it there alone and get a monocoin for actually dealing with them. Yay! Okay, I think we looked at everything else. Let's talk to Saka now. We see we looked at her pretty face and we're having fun, so let's talk to her. By the way, Makoto. No, huh? what is it? Well, it's just I heard what you said. This is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. Right click, and ultra. Okay, that worked. What do you want to ask me? 
go to, did you happen to go to Black Root Junior High? Were you maybe in class too? Yeah, yeah, actually, I was. I knew it! I went there too! I was in class four though! Do you remember me? Oh great! Childhood crush! Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? What was as surprising as her question was? She remembered me. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um... Hey, are you okay? Oh yeah, I was just surprised, is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years, of course I remember! Well, that's true, but you're a lot of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Aww. What are you talking about? You're so strange. Strange? That's... <laughs> Start giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smiles of hers made me grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest I'd ever seen. Anyway, I'm really glad I know somebody here. Uh, Thirty years made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. No, I'm really not. At least if we're stuck together, at least I got her. I'm nothing compared to all you ultimates. <laughs> but you're the one who helped me find my courage again, not any of these ultimate students. Plus, you're probably gonna date all of us anyway. Thank you for saying that. Okay. And thank you for helping me out. I'm gonna become your ultimate assistant. Huh? My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now! I'm gonna help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it... It really gets me pumped up! Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Oh, it's like key time to talk it through open the tiny hall doors, right when Sokka said that. Hey. Ah, Makoto! Sayaka! So you two got here first, huh? Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. I guess that means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet! Well, I won't give up! Next time, I swear I'll win, no matter what it takes! Justice shall always prevail! That's a bit much, don't you think? I agree with her. And soon after that... Everyone else came strolling in one after another. For a few minutes, everyone gathered in the dining hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Hold on a sec. Wait, hold on a sec. What are you talking about? What's wrong? Mm. What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver-haired girl. Uh, oh yeah, Kyoko. Mm. What about her? Mm. She's not here. What? <laughs> Do another ra look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, nobody's here yet? Why didn't Kyo show up yet? Could it be because... Yes, indeed! Grabbling, grabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, uniting! How you do it doesn't matter! You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. This is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome the, in the worst way possible. Is it possible? Was she really... No, no. I'm just overthinking things. Darn it, Kyoko! You're really starting to be late like this on your first day of school? Oh, she late? She didn't eat, tell anyone that she'd be late. I know it's an unbecoming personality trait. Come on. You can't 
real cack ass right now, you know that. Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. Now then, I declare that the first session of Hoax Peak Academy Briefing Meetings has begun! Kuto, actually, first of all... Talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. Mm -hmm. You know... Huh? What's up? I feel like I really have to be a personal assistant. Don't you agree? You may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I got. No, you've already, re already done so much as my assistant. And I can't talk to anyone that looks like except for Sayaka, which means I probably have to go to reaction commands. You know, it's really gonna stink if reaction commands aren't that used much after this. Because they will toss something that's basically pretty much unneeded. I don't think I should leave right now. Yeah, it's not important. Okay, since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone split up to investigate different parts of the building, but... Yaki and Taka each went off on their own, and so did Kyoko, who isn't back yet. Looks like Leon, Hiro, Junko, and Chihiro all grouped up together. The same goes for Hina, Sakura, and Mondo. So as Toko and Hufumi were left over, so they joined up. Now we talk to her again. We're gonna skip to where the first line is, and we're gonna talk to everyone. The action. And... Hero Stick. I want to try to find some clue as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. Unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all for me. Really? That's it? If I'd uncover anything, naturally I would have more to say, but I didn't, so I don't. Alright, understood. Okay, he's next. Yes, Ayaki, you don't say this anything 20,000 times, no, I love your voice already. Go Taka. I spent some time looking around the dormitory and... There I made the discovery of the century. I found there was exactly one room for each person. Yeah. Well, yeah, I figured that out before anything else. Yeah. Each already had a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. Huh. And each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name, Precision, etched onto it. Which confirms that the room I was... I was in earlier is in fact my room and, and here and I found that all the rooms are totally soundproof um, your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you won't hear a thing <laughs> well each room also had a private bathroom which you could also lock which means no one's gonna hear them scream when the party starts it looked like there's only locks on the bathrooms and the girls doors oh boy I checked my bathroom door before it didn't really seem like it was locked that's weird. I think I should double check that later. Hey, come on. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here for a while. Well, better than to have than to have not. At least you don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. I wanted to do it like they do in Discovery Channel. That can't be all you have to report. Can you hit me, Mr. Honor Student? That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. Okay, it's kind of dark about all this. Let's see. Yeah, it's the same thing as before. But uh, we went all up and down to school, still checking the windows in all hallways and classes. I want to see if we can get any of those metal plates to come off. Nothing. Not a damn thing. We can get a single one to budge even a little bit. What should I do? There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. This school really has been fully cut off. This is bad. Bad, 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 bad. It really sucks. It sucks, 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 sucks. What the hell are we gonna do? It sucks so much you can suck on me? God damn, calm down. You're starting to make me nervous. Okay, so thank you for hearing the dark about all this again.
We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. Sorry. We didn't find the thing. Sorry. Yo. Back to the main hall. See, maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. Why? But even with Sakura and me what? both, it wouldn't budge. We hit with desk and chairs and nothing. Hers like metal. Yes, indeed. Well, yes, it is metal. Anyway, if we're gonna get out of here, it's not gonna be through there. I feel like you just cry. But no, I had to hold it in. I had to manage my hydration. So then. I shall tell you what happened next. It was nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. Both school and the dorm areas, there's a set of stairs leading up to another floor. Um. Game? Hello? Okay. But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. In other words, at this point, we're only able to search the first floor. However, we can further assume that there was potentially something about the second floor as well. If that's the case, there's at least a chance it may lead to a way out. I was odd though what just happened with that, but yeah, that was total lag for a second. So it just asked me a question about this Let's week. See. Nothing important. Okay, last group. Let's if I'm being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Most Honestly, you're not the, exactly the types to go running around at school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the, wrong with you? what the hell were you thinking? Just sitting around at the gym the whole time. Duck, duck, goose. Well, it's not like you invited me along. When he said, hey, come with us. I like you for leaving me out. It's your fault. If you want to go with someone, you should just said something. Hmm. Forget it. I don't want to go anywhere without a dirty slut like you. Slut? Your mind is the thin of your body. You make me sick to my stomach. Are you for real? I, I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you just met? Junko, you can talk about this off camera. All right, guys. Everyone, just calm down, okay? All this dress is bad for your skin, you know. Yeah, sounds like you two are so close now, you're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Sayaka. Hey, um... That's what they had to say, huh? I guess it's, I'm the only one left. Yes, you are. Um... I'm gonna have a look around the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. That's good. I guess you don't have to worry about food at least. Sure, for now. But even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? <laughs> you can just eat s s seeds or something. Violent enough, Toko? Huh? What am I? A parakeet? You look like a gopher. I don't think you have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. At least that's what Monokuma said. You saw him? Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge and told me that, then disappeared again. Great, he's part ninja. He was so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with a remote control. That's what a nice toy that can disappear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. You'd be the maze one. But every was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything? Hina! Eat her? Um, what do you mean by that? I mean, you say eat? What kind of eating are we talking about? Oh. Come on, man! Hina, I agree with you. you what the hell, fatty? You're like some kind of sleazy drunk dude! Actually. Well, that's a good kind of drunk dude. Hey, hey stop screwing around, all of you! Are you still asleep or something? The prisoners here. We should. We could all just die any second. 
she's right. We can't be, ain't be making any stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something else. A voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all spending a lot of time yelling and carrying on. Mm -hmm. You really think you can afford to do so? Have no you accepted the reality of the situation? Kyoko! Where the heck have you been? We already started a meeting without you! She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? Here's the map of Hope's Peak Academy. A map. What the? Where did you find this? Well. It doesn't matter where I found it. It does matter! You're really freaking us out right now. Never mind that. What's it mean? It Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out the precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So what you're saying is, this really is Hope's Peak Academy. It's true. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. It does look like it had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um, but then, this truly is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. So stupid, it's not even possible! This is where the country's future leader is supposed to come and learn? If this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? Hey, come on guys, let's just stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. Aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo. Worried? What's it to be worried about? I mean, this is all planned out, right? People in charge of always speak put this all together, huh? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth. You know? Good thing comes to those who wait, right? We just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> What's your Why are you laughing? It's so funny. I'm just happy, that's all. You see, splitting up and investigate was a good idea after all. Mm. Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time. We didn't find a way out, we didn't find who's behind this, we still have no idea what's go going on. Oh. Huh? It's not crystal clear to you what's going on. Are you okay it's probably with ob this? obvious that we have been imprisoned in some sort of secret location with no way out. No one said any response to that. You don't want to accept that reality, but was staring us right in the face. You didn't have to go and say that! I was trying not to think about it! No way out! We're trapped here? What are we supposed to do? It's very simple. You want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it. Don't even joke about that! Uh, you want to just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like... There's gotta be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. That's... Live here? Are you saying we should just accept it? Do you a lack understand? of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. As someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we'll be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is off limits from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. The be aware that in the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and will be punished accordingly. So regarding this night time, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at night time should be prohibited altogether. School regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. <laughs> but, but why? Are you okay the way things are now, every time night comes, we will start all starting to get worried and anxious. We will all be afraid someone might try to come and kill us. What? If we have to worry about that right after night for who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a kind of preventive measure. Indeed. However, unlike other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. 
you all have to agree to follow it. What can we do? I see what you mean, but I think I can agree to that. It's like the little golf Alita said. If that's something like that, we're all just gonna self destruct. On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. What? Hey, this side speak for us. This is fine. So, everyone is in agreement. Good. <laughs> if you excuse me. Huh? huh? Wait, where are you going? Let's see. It's almost nighttime. I want to take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are so, well. goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, let's leave the dining hall. Her behavior seems so natural. I couldn't imagine anyone trying to stop her. Um, so, so, I guess it's probably obvious where we go from here. We spend the night, it looks like. <laughs> Adaptability. Hmm. So, Mr. Chairman, what's next? One person already left. Uh, um. Well then, what do you say we call it in today's meeting? Because I'm defeated. You like I, like she said, it's almost nighttime anyway. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? We really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have a choice. We can't go along without getting some sleep. Oh, so we just sucks. have to give up. <sighs> That's all fine and good for t today. But what do we do tomorrow? So in Our the only end. option is to split up and look around again. Let everyone know if we find anything. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Aww. Then we're done for today? Good, I'm exhausted. I'll help you go to sleep. The heavy movements, everyone head off to their private rooms. Um, Koto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. This really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right, I should check on the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. One well, of the girlfriends. Only the girls' bathrooms should have locks on them, right? Try the bed. Not the bed, the bathroom door. Alright, let's open it up. It's no use. It really is locked. I'm silver. Bzz, bzz, wrong! Not locked! Holy crap! Where'd you come from? Geez, talk about an overreaction! So just like you just a uh, ghost or something. What? Like some kind of robot fair ghost? What, what are you doing here? The Count on Aegi, this is super duper majorly bad, so bad it's almost magical. Ultra magical awful awful attack! Uh -huh. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason we're open isn't because it's locked? The door just doesn't fit? Did you see the notice? What? Can't you read? The bathrooms in the boys' rooms don't have locks. Yeah. I mean, a lock a in a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Well, it's not that it's pointless, I guess. I'm no expert on the birds and bees and all that. Hey, anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's just what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? You just gotta turn the door knob, then lift up while you pull! Yes, indeed! Go ahead, give it a try! Turn the knob, and lift the door up while I pull. When we did that, the door opened without a problem. Woohoohoo! <laughs> <laughs> see, it opened right up! Isn't that crazy, though? Your door's the only one that doesn't fit quite right! You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not lucky at all! Anyway, I certainly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye! Hey, wait! He still owes me five bucks. Damn it. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. Looks like it's nighttime. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. 
I can do now is try and get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapse in the bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. I thought that I was ready for bed exactly. I was suddenly exhausted. Was this I just spent an entire day staring at a TV watching movies or some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made-up fantastical world? Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope Speak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. It would be too much hope that when I woke up, I realized it was all a dream. It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind teacher, but I think about what's coming up. This is so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope Speak County and strive to refine your ideals. Or do I feel I'm not gonna like them? I got an idea for that thing. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Wine lover. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Apparently, it's morning. Are oh, things the total lack of windows? There's no way to be sure. Well, what? No way to know for sure. Next episode, we'll find out. Anyway, what should we do now? I'll tell you next episode. Maybe go find Sayaka and we figure out what, where to go from here together. You see, she say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm going to head to her room. I will do that. With a newfound determination, next episode, we'll leave our room and do that. See you in the next episode. I also want to bring up real quick a quick apology about last episode. I left the ending in where I usually clip out my stuff and before I let it take a break. You got to see why I used the pause of video. Whoops! Well, that happened. Other than that, I just wanted to bring up real quick that we're starting to actually get into the dating portion, like I said. There's not that much I want to say, actually, about this one, but we will be going more into Sayaka soon. In more ways than one. And she's going to be the definition of the next episode. There'll be a lot of her. It's going to be fun. And also, those react commands, the first time, I got... I gotta bring this up because it's one of those that got me off guard and just throws a lot of people off is that you actually have to use the WSAD keys and then click as if you're trying to I have to ask why didn't they just use a mouse pointer here or on the Vita use the thumbstick to you move the cursor that would be a little easier that's what threw not only me but actually threw Nancy off a little bit when she started playing. She told me about this one that she got stuck. So, yeah. After the episode, I did ask her about that, and that's what happened. That's why she got stuck. So, yeah. That's one to be ready for. That's going to jam people up, I bet. So, yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. On the next episode, we're going to hang out with Sayaka. A lot. See you then.